A film in three minutes. This is Mr. Still Smiling, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. It's like I always say, you take my advice on a dark and stormy night when some wild-eyed six-foot-tall filmmaker grabs your attention and has got you by the balls and asks you, have you seen Big Trouble in Little China? Well, you just stare at that bald-headed sucker right in the eye, and you remember what old Jack Burton always says at a time like that. Have you seen Big Trouble in Little China? Yes, sir, straight after I saw this video. And that's simply because John Carpenter's 1986 action fantasy extravaganza is one of the greatest movies of all time. A lovingly crafted combination of over-the-top kung fu filmmaking meets Chinese magical mysticism, starring the one and only Kurt Russell as the most iconic trucker in the history of cinema, who is impossible not to find relentlessly charming, exceedingly quotable, and just downright fun. Don't believe me? Well, you try and name me a film that can top a slightly demented magician, complete with six demon bag, a menacingly mystical ancient sorcerer with three hardcore elemental henchmen, rival ancient warrior gangs, magic power battles, spectacular set pieces, beastly creatures, glorious arts direction, martial arts mayhem, a kick-ass soundtrack, oh, and that's before I've even dived into the legend that is Jack Burton. He's your typical everyday good old boy, with lightning fast reflexes, stoic composure, and always a hit with the ladies. Except he's actually not, and is almost entirely out of his depth right from the beginning. One, two, three. <laughs> we may be trapped with a disdain for anything less American than apple pie. But hey, it's not like he was brought upon this world to get it. And fortunately for him, his friend Wang, played by Dennis Dunn, is more than a match for the forces of evil, flipping the entire hero sidekick dynamic on its head in a move that left audiences at the time rather perplexed, with their confusion resulting in poor box office reception. But much like David Lopan's attempts to come back from the grave, Big Trouble has enjoyed a much-deserved resurrection since its theatrical release, with a cult following few other films from the 80s can muster. So, if you're looking for your next favourite movie, why not give Big Trouble in Little China a try? I promise you that, at worst, you'll be confused, and at best, utterly delighted. After all, when it comes to awesome movies directed by Carpenter and starring Russell, it's on the reflexes.